This is a demonstration of the Laurel WS400B photo resist spinner. The Laurel spinner is made with material that, do, that does not degrade or generate particles. The bowl shaped interior forces fluid downward where it is routed directly to the rear drain. The upper plenum closes inside the base providing an overlapping seal. An, an overlapping skirt protects the motor seal and the electronics from con chemical contaminants. The processor controller can store up to 20 different programs. It has a variable speed of between uh, 100 and 6,000 RPM, and the process chamber itself is 8.5 inches in diameter. The unit can be powered by anywhere between 95 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, um, allowing it to be used in uh, European applications. Now this particular unit has been uh, modified uh, to be used with a non-vacuum chuck. However, I'd like to show you how we put it on and off. Um, I've included this nice little set of screws here that act as a tool. When you put them in both sides here, they screw into the piece allowing you to take your chuck. This is, by the way, the uh, two-inch square non-vacuum chuck that the customer has requested. So we'll just spin that on there. And we'll hold the two handles, which allow us to tighten it up. Now. Now we're going to turn the system on. There's one switch in the rear here, right here, that turns it on. Now you'll notice here it's calling for both vacuum and clean, dry air. Uh, it is marked on the rear here where you put your purge line and it specifies anywhere from 60 to 70 PSI. I will go turn that on. And the uh, clean dry air um, sensor has been turned off. Now, even though this particular spinner is going to be used with a non-vacuum chuck, the actual controller still does require vacuum. Uh, so once vacuum is hooked up, all you have to do is push the vacuum button and the vacuum sensor is satisfied. Now, to give a quick demonstration, I made a nice little simulated um, little two inch square, could be a substrate or whatever your application is. And we'll just give this a quick spin. By the way, when the lid is up, it knows it's up. So if while you're running your program, if for any reason you should raise the lid, the spinner will immediately stop. Now, as you can see, it's spinning. And if you raise the lid, it'll stop immediately. Now, I've prepared a uh, program here that I've written, Program F, and what this program will allow me to do is uh, increase speed in increments of 1,000, from 1,000 to the maximum, which is 6,000 RPM, and then back down again. Now, in order to check the accuracy of that speed, you'll notice on our chuck here, I put a small little reflective piece of tape. Now what that tape does is it goes along with our infrared tachometer so we can check the accuracy of the speed. So we can compare both what our tachometer says and our display says. Turn this on. 
Now, if we do this just right, as you'll notice, I'm just on that strip right there. And here we go. Oop, satisfy vacuum. All right, now the first one should be a thousand. And uh, there we are, nine, nine, six, a thousand, exactly a thousand. Now I will go to two thousand. 2008, very good for handheld, that's excellent. Three thousand. Four thousand. Make sure I have that right on that mark there. Six thousand. And back down to five thousand. Four thousand. Thousand two thousand there it is and one thousand followed by zero. Very simple to use, uh, very easy to program. Uh, compact, can be set up on uh, a bench uh, next to the rest of your process. And this completes this demonstration.